Yeah! Full a sketchy road in there. It's going, Bran. Yeah. The goal is still Mont Blanc marathon in June. That's what we're, that's what I'm training for. That's what we're hoping for, isn't it? Being in the Alps, in the mountains. Mm. Yeah. Pray for us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Boris to make it happen. We are Alan and Sage. Wander with us as we head off grid in our converted van to explore the world. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be updating you guys this week on what exactly is going on, where we are, what we're doing, what our plans are. But first things first, we're going to tackle this toast issue. Some great ideas from people. So Saj is on it. So someone said you could just do it in a frying pan. Just, no, just frying pan, nothing in it. Bread. Bread. I don't know. We'll see. So this episode, we um, show you my first drive in the van, which is quite exciting, um, and the ongoing saga with my bed, because we've ordered a... Is it burning? No. It's just quite sensitive, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a very sensitive fire alarm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, it's, it's going, Bran. Yeah. Right, what was I saying? Yeah, so we've got a pocket sprung mattress being delivered, bespoke for us, because obviously our bed's, bed frame is not the same as a normal UK double. So that's coming in eight days. Eight days and counting. Uh, so I'm just trying to get me a bit comfy because it's waking up every morning with like sore hips and stuff. And then, yeah, we're going to give you a bit of an update about... <laughs> about our plans for the next few months of weeks, hopefully. <laughs> Depending on what Man Hot, uh, Hancock and Boris Johnson let us do. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Stay tuned for an exciting update on where we're going and what we're going to do. It's going to be pretty cool, isn't it? This is a weird angle to try and film from. It's going to be cool if we're allowed to go. Of course we'll be allowed to go. The vaccine is rolling out. It's all going to be great. Oh my god. Why? We can't do toast in the van like this. this is... It's not even burning. This is a nightmare. I'm not doing toast like this. I can't live like this. Okay, let's just take it off. That'll do. That'll do. It's kind of tasty. Our new guest bed has arrived. It's so big. It's massive. The saga with um, Sage's not liking the mattress continues. You're not enjoying the the new setup, is no, that fair I'm to say? I'm not enjoying my new setup. I know it's temporary, but the mattress is going to be like three weeks now. So yeah. So we've bought Sage's bought a sleeping mat from Sweden. Jokel, which is Swedish for glacier, mm. eh? Jokel of Sweden is a Swedish company specialising in outdoor nature equipment. Wow. So, but we can also use it as a spare, like a spare bed. Yeah, right. Like, if we just put the table off, we could absolutely fit someone to sleep in here. Yeah. We're going to layer this up underneath some of the mattressy stuff you've got. Yeah. Sit down. It blew up quick. Drop Yeah, I mean it, it's it's very much based on lightweight features, I think. Oh wow. I don't know how tight, how like puffed up should it be? No. Oh, 
pie thing. Do you? Is that not the puncher a pear kit? No, oh, I thought it was an eye thing. <laughs> it is an eye thing! Put it on, put it on, put it on. Ooh, with that and a mask, you can be sorted. Pretty. Oh, it really hurts your eyes. Oh, there you go. Ugh. Really, really nice. Yeah. Definitely wear that all the time. Cool. It's black satin. It's beautiful. Under the memory foam or over? Over. Just put it on top. Just put it on top. Be easier. Okay. Let's put it on top. I'd put the foot end where the nozzle is, personally. But. <laughs> Graceful. Hot, then just put, <laughs> put the, the sheet over it and try it out. Yeah. But I can't wait for our mattress to come. Let me see. <laughs> oh, it feels like a like a water bed. Do you know what, that's all right. I see this every time though, and then at four in the morning I'm like, oh, it hurts. Yeah. Because it is quite, it's quite springy. Do you know what, that's all right. It's quite, it's a bit orthopedic. People camp on that with nothing else, so. Yeah, so yeah. I've, got a, I've got a memory foam layer and loads of blankets. Happy? Ask me at four in the morning. Oh god. The saga continues. The saga continues. Sage's first go. Driving. Yeah. Vanessa. Yeah. You look thrilled. Yeah. Any tips? Give everything a much wider berth than you think you need just because you're not used to it. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's that blue car. I can't, I have no idea how far it is away. But it's really hard to judge. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah, and it's on the other side. Okay, you've got a very expensive sports car quite close to your backside. Break off. Go back a little bit. Turn the other way. Car there. <laughs> Check no one's coming. Ooh, well, sketchy road in there.
loads of room. There's loads of room. It's fine. Okay, we're in. It's not bad. How was it? It was okay, yeah, it was all right. Better than I thought it was gonna be. Bit shaky start, but it's okay. Yeah, you drove it really well, did good. No, Thanks, babe. No dramas. Thanks. No dramas, mate. I feel like it's a gender thing, isn't it? I feel pressure to just not have any stress about it and just do it like as a woman, you know, like as an independent woman. It's not a feminist issue though, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's a feminist issue. Okay. <laughs> Boom, first of many. First of many. How's the toast? Yeah, it's nice. It's particularly nice with passion fruit curd. Mm. Like lemon curd, but passion fruit. Nice. So, what are our plans? Where are we going? What well, are we going to do? We're currently staying on the driveway of your parents. Yeah. Still here. From, Living the dream. But it's just like, yeah, since we got the van. And it's good in the way that we're just staying safe, keeping everyone else safe, following all the rules and regulations and whatnot. Um, but it's, the numbers are looking better, aren't they, than they were before. Vaccines are being rolled out and they're saying maybe April stuff might open up. Um, so we are thinking Scotland. Scotland. And <laughs> the NC500. Can say a bit more about the NC500? The NC500 is a road. Well, babe. It's the North Coast 500. I've never been to Scotland before, so I've always wanted to go to Scotland. And it's going to be a great training for Mont Blanc Marathon because it's quite hilly mm. in Scotland. And we hear good things, don't we? We hear that mm. the NC500 is beautiful. Kinging it did it. Mm. Lots mm. of people have done it. The, the, I think Europe, like the vaccination is not going particularly well. So we're, we're a bit worried, aren't we, that getting across to France and the rest of Europe is going to be a bit delayed. Yeah. I think realistically, yeah. it's not going to be anytime soon. No. So if we get to do that, um, in April, we're thinking maybe Ireland in May. Ireland could be good. Ireland could be good. Never again, never been. And I have been to Dublin, but I've never been to like the Giant's Causeway, to the mountains, to Cork. Like I want to go to. I just want to do it all, really. Yeah. That'd be good. Hey, there's some beautiful places for us to go. You know, in the United Kingdom and Ireland. So. Be awesome, mm. right? But then, if it's really looking good, like June time, which it should do, come on, June, we can get the ferry from Ireland to um, Spain or France. Can we? Yeah, we can get a ferry from Ireland to Spain. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Because the goal is still Mont Blanc marathon in June. That's what we're. That's what I'm training for. That's what we're hoping for, isn't it? Be in the Alps, in the mountains. Mm. Yeah. Pray for us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Boris to make it happen. <laughs> we'll see. We'll keep you updated anyway. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Then what do I say? <laughs> oh, God. I can't even get into reverse. <laughs> 